Uh, I want to play something else from the Bronx, and I'll give you a couple of uh, comments from uh, Donald Trump as well. But what do the people think that turned out? What about people from the Bronx? And by the way, a majority of the people that were at the event yesterday were from the Bronx, and here's a sampling of the people there. Listen. Where are you from? The Bronx, actually. I'm originally from the Bronx and from New York. I'm from the Bronx. Right here in the Bronx, New York. This is home, right here. AOC says if you're not a Democrat, you don't belong here in the Bronx. Right. What do you say? I disagree with that. I don't think she should be here in the Bronx. I actually don't know any Democrats living in the Bronx. Look, AOC, look at the su tremendous oh, support for Mr. Donald J. Trump. You need to tell her then she need to stay out the Bronx because look at all the we people around. Down. Everybody's here for Trump. I am a Democrat. And I belong here. And who are you voting for? Donald J. Trump. What has AOC done for the Bronx? She's done nothing for the Bronx. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Nothing's gotten any better. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Let her come to the Bronx and let her come among us people that struggle. She doesn't even know what struggle is. Yeah, he doesn't know what struggle is. That's exactly right. And if they're that way in the Bronx, how are they in other parts of America? New Hampshire is a place I'm very interested in because I've said for a while it's going to be in play. And so everybody said, no, it won't be. New Hampshire hasn't voted for a Republican in, in 20 years for president. Well, guess what? A brand new poll here a couple of days ago shows Donald Trump with a very slight lead in New Hampshire. Mark is in New Hampshire today. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Steve. Well, what do you think the, the, the flavor and the temperature is in New Hampshire right now? Does Donald Trump have a chance of winning there? Yeah, I believe he does. Uh, but the information is kind of tight in New Hampshire because uh, it seems to me Governor Sununu and the Hearst Corporation, which runs the only TV station in New Hampshire, kind of controls the the uh, the, the wording and, and the, the images in New Hampshire. Uh, so we've only got one one large city and one large television station. Well, and I understand that, um, but, but Governor Sununu, who is no fan of Donald Trump, did say he would be voting for Donald Trump because it's far better than the alternative. So Governor Sununu, who is reasonably popular in, in New Hampshire, he's voting for Donald Trump. That should move some people, shouldn't it? Anyhow, uh, what did you call about? What else on your mind? Well, first of all, uh, the uh, governor in New Hampshire right now uh, is loved by the Democrats, and the awakened Republicans cannot stand them and have not been able to for a long time. Yeah. But what I did call about was, number one, we it's a proven fact now, the oaths of office in our executive administration, uh, when people take an oath of office, they're supposed to, uh, you know, hold their hand up and, and swear to God and so on and so forth, but then they're supposed to file papers. A lot of them haven't done that. My second concern, and my most important one, is the border. Um, and the reason why is people seem to have short memories. Did not Mr. Obama spend many years giving ammunition and guns to agencies that would have no use for them? Well, of course they have use for them, and he did. The IRS, the ATF, all sorts of agencies have... Heck, the Ag Department has armed agents now. You're exactly right, Mark. Exactly right. And that's pretty frightening, isn't it? Real quick, give me your last thought. Yes. Uh, well, it, it's a little scary because now we look at all these military-age men coming into the United States. That's okay. I wonder whether or not ammunition and guns for, to kill all the people in the United States. Well, you wonder why they, you know, look, I don't need the IRS showing up at my house with a, with a sidearm, but they do. Or the Ag Department, but they do. And a whole of, bunch of other agencies you may or may not have even heard of are all armed, have millions of rounds of ammunition and more. Mark, thank you for calling in today. We hope New Hampshire does the right thing in November. Jerry is in Missouri. No, no, Not much uh, concern about Missouri going red. It will. Jerry, welcome to the program. Hello, Steve. How are you? Uh, I am good. good. It's awfully early, but we have marijuana in Missouri that you can buy, and they have made it too strong. Oh, yeah. Uh, marijuana is really strong. Yeah. You know, I went to college once, you know, I'll tell you that. But what they have out there today is a different animal than what they had out there, you know, 30, 40 years ago. That's a fact. Much more powerful. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And it's it's not even marijuana. It's a drug. 
No, it absolutely is. And, and so Michigan, we legalized it here. So so many other states, Florida will legalize it uh, this fall, I believe. It's it's not good. Uh, I don't think it's good. It's it's not good for the mental health of young people to get their hands on it. It's, it's, it's a potent drug. You're exactly right. Jerry, you're exactly right. I, yes, so I assume you're I opposed have, to it. I have, yes, I have lost a friend to it because he is just out there. Yeah, just he out is, there. Well, Jerry, uh, no longer I, I, I tell people it should be decriminalized, not legalized. There's a big difference there. Thanks for checking in. We're going to go to the Show Me State of Oklahoma. Leonard is there. Leonard, how are you today? Yes, sir. How are I you, have, sir? Uh, I don't think Biden was ever going to debate. I think he's setting up Trump and Kennedy when well, he backs out. He might be. Uh, you know, there's a headline about that that I should share with the folks. Uh, Biden is now demanding that he has to sit down for the entire debate, will not stand at a podium because he can't stand at a podium for an hour and a half without getting confused, wandering around, or just getting tired. He's an old man. He, he's frail in every way. I, I know some 81-year-old people, people that are 85, that are vigorous. My uncle's in his mid-80s. He hunts and fishes I and still goes out every day. So that when he backs out, uh, Kennedy and uh, Trump will have to go ahead and uh, debate. Well, I think they just might. Uh, and, and, and it's not a bad idea because, look, it will give, give us some measure of what's going on. Uh, anyhow, greatly uh, appreciate it, Leonard. Uh, last thought. Go ahead. It's a trap. <laughs> you think it's a, a trap? Yes. I don't. Uh, I think it might they're, be. they're trying to make them both look bad well, maybe. on the debate. They're trying to make a trap, but they're using a, a feeble old man to do it. It's not a good look. Sheila, Gerald, Jack. Uh -huh. A Leonard, another Leonard on the way. Thank you, sir, for being here. Thank you all for being here. 877-310-9966. If you don't like the idea of calling, you can go to the website, stevegruber.com, and send me an email. Maybe I'll read it on the air. stevegruber.com. Check it out.